Court leader Raila Odinga has urged the Attorney General to reconsider the proposed Religious Society Rules 2015. Raila has described as hypocritical uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta's directive to the AG to meet with religious leaders to iron out the contested areas of the proposed law, claiming the President chaired the Cabinet meeting that approved the same. Well, we are now joined live by our reporter Patrick Amimo by way of phone uh, for more details. Patrick, apart from that, what else can you tell us about uh, what uh, Raila had to say to the church leaders? Uh, thank you so much, Betty. Indeed, uh, the, uh, the ODM uh, leader, party leader, and court of leader Raila Odinga did meet the religious leaders and they had at least a brainstorming session over some of the laws that have been proposed by the Attorney General in that uh, Religious Society since 2015. And the members of the religious fraternity who met the uh, court leader were very emphatic. They want those rules are repealed. They say that uh, the Attorney General had gone against um, their, their, their expectations, claiming that uh, the consultative process had not been concluded before the rules came in place. So the leaders are, are very much concerned with some of the, some of the areas they did isolate have to do with the, uh, this idea that every pastor or member or the, uh, being a, ch a church leader, you must have a degree or a diploma as a basic, a basic requirement for you to practice, uh, to practice as a member of the clergy. They are opposed to that, uh, that requirement. They say that uh, for, for those who are, who are in church or the, 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 the people, the, the clergy, to have not applied for a job in government offices to be uh, subjected to uh, rules and regulations on academic qualifications. They say theirs is a divine call which will not be subjected to education qualifications. The other rule uh, or requirement they are, uh, they are against is that to do with the registr registration of members, where the AG proposes that uh, these religious boards, they should have an umbrella body with a minimum membership of 2,500 members. They are opposed to these requirements, saying that uh, According to them, the Holy Read says that uh, where two or three are gathered, there is God, and they believe that uh, that, that requirement, they can continue with their divine revelations uh, without uh, this, this proposal to have at least a membership, uh, a membership of 2,500. The other issue also they are opposed to is taxation. They're saying that uh, these rules uh, to tax churches will be, according to them, they say that's double, double taxation. So they want uh, that idea of taxing churches to be... Uh, 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 deleted from those requirements. And also the issue they have with, uh, with that, uh, the, the, the other rule that uh, the regulations that the broadcast regulations that came up with uh, the Communication Authority of Kenya where religious leaders uh, programs have been barred from those from asking people to get uh, to get saved or forcing people to to be uh, to, to, to join the particular religions. They say that requirement then uh, if it's put in place or if it's enforced then it will make nonsense the idea of uh, religious programming because the idea of religious programs is after the clergy make uh, uh, sent out different appeals to their members or the, the, the faithful or whoever were listening or listening to them or viewing them, then the end product is to convince members to join to join that particular faith. So they are opposed to this particular regulation. They have the idea that uh, they should be repealed altogether. And this one, these are uh, their comments has been uh, has been supported by the code, code leader Peter Odinga, who says the state has no business regulating religion and he wants to see the state keep off religious affairs because he says by so doing, by so interfering, then he, uh, the state might uh, might uh, uh, um, anger the religious community and if the religious community raises up against the state, then uh, it will uh, it will introduce uh, insta uh, religious instability into the right. country. So what they say is not this religion, so the government must leave obey the constitution. Right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Patrick Amimo, for the detailed uh, reporting there. Of course, he's going to be packaging a story that's going to be running out uh, throughout our bulletin in regards to that meeting between uh, court leader Raila Odinga and church leaders over the raft of issues that uh, uh, Amimo has mentioned there.